Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will try and show you how to connect uh, well individually addressable LEDs uh, to the Motix and give them various effects and such. So what we are going to need is uh, a Node MCU or D1 Mini. Uh, I prefer a Node MCU because it has an internal voltage voltage regulator. Uh, so you can use it with a uh, voltage range from 3.3 volts all the way up to 20 volts. Uh, you need a power supply, uh, well, 5 or 12 volts, depending on which type of LED you have. And make sure you have enough amps. Uh, well, a ru good rule of thumb is 1 amp per meter. And then we need the LEDs and we are using uh, WLED so the supported LED types are uh, WS2812B, WS2811, SK6812 and APA102. Uh, then we are going to need a WLED which is a project from AirCookie and we can well, Download it by going to the releases, which I can't find right now, but we can copy the link. I will put this document in the description. And if we go to this link to the releases, uh, we can download it over here. And we need the ESP8266 binary file. Once we have that, we need the uh, ESP Easy Flasher. I uh, have left a download link for the uh, Windows program. And we need to flash it. So we select our COM part, our WLED, uh, the ESP Easy Flasher, and the uh, binary file we just downloaded need to be in the same folder. And then we can flash our node MCU. Alright, now that flash is complete, we can hit the reset button on the node MCU. And uh, we should see on our uh, phone a uh, Wi Fi network called WLEDAP. I recorded this earlier on my phone. And the password of this WLED uh, network is uh, WLED1234. So when you uh, enter that and connect it to that Wi Fi network, uh, then we uh, go to the IP address 4.3.2.1 and I will get a little bit back. Yeah, we get this screen and then we click on Wi-Fi settings and then we get over here. And you need to fill in uh, your network SSID and password, both are case sensitive. And uh, then you need to click on save and reboot. If you have done that, you can go into your router and get the IP address of WLED. Uh, which we need for the next step and that's uh, we can uh, we get this when we enter the IP address so before this uh, we proceed we need to uh, connect some LEDs and when you are connecting some LEDs uh, we need to make sure uh, two things uh, the uh, LED strip and the node MCU need to share the same ground otherwise uh, this won't work, it cannot uh, instruct the LEDs. And we need to connect the data wire of the LEDs to GPIO2, which is D4 on the D1 Mini and Node, node MCU. Uh, if we, uh, well, now correct the, uh, have the LED strip hooked up and are in the uh, interface of WLED, we need to go to the settings and we need to go to LED preferences and we need to fill in our LED count. 
Now, uh, you need to uh, count the uh, amount of addressing chips on your LED strip. So mine has one chip per three LEDs, but uh, there are also chips with, which have uh, one uh, driving module per one LED. So uh, depending on your type of strip, you need to count the number of chips or you need to count the number of LEDs and you need to put in that number over here. So WLED knows how much LEDs there are to uh, work with. You can also do that by trial and error. Uh, if you, uh, I put in, for instance, 25, only half of my LED strip will light up. So you can get your the right number by trial and error and seeing if the whole chip uh, lights up. And uh, over here, we need to uh, select our color order. Mine is BRG, but uh, you can have four different ones. And I suggest, uh, well, or look it up or uh, by trial and error, you can get the right one. And if you have RGBW, uh, which have also white LEDs, you need to check this box. All right, now to move on to uh, connecting this all to domotics. Uh, we need to SSH in our domo uh, into our domotics and uh, go to the plugin folder. So I already have a buddy session open, so I can go to the plugins folder. And then we uh, are going to use the uh, domotics WLED plugin from Frustier Manier. And we will do that by copying this command into our buddy. All right, so now that we have installed the plugin, we need to restart the Mondix, which we are going to do by sudo re service restart the uh, service the restart. Depending on your uh, the uh, size of your install, this may take a little bit. All right, and now we are going into the Mondix settings hardware and over here we uh, do have a new hardware type called WLED if I'm correct WLED right I'm going to call it WLED1 and we need to put in the IP address of our WLED node MCU so I am going to put that over here and click add now our WLED is added and in the devices tab we should have a couple of extra devices if I'm correct right it took a little bit but now over here we have uh, a couple of devices and well we need to add those to see them I got here uh, through settings and devices so we need we need to add each one of these by clicking the green arrow and say add device all right now that we've done that we can go to our switches and we need to scroll all the way to the bottom and we see over here you can well do pretty much anything you can also do within uh, WLED, but then from Demotics, and you can automate everything. Uh, yeah, so you can automate uh, all the fun we can have with some uh, addressable LEDs. I hope this uh, video was helpful, and make sure to subscribe to be notified for uh, well more upcoming videos, and I hope to see you next time.